hard to be here and to get this this uh, organization back on track. Uh, and it's great to see the fruits of their labor starting to show and uh, and uh, being able to uh, to go out there and, and challenge really hard today. I thought we did. You guys see it, not me, but I thought from what I could see gap-wise, we did the best job on blacks by, by far of anybody today. Uh, I know when Alex is behind me or Christian was behind me on blacks, they weren't anywhere near our pace. I was able to hold Christian off blacks on blacks and he was on, on reds there in that second stint. And I, was, I was pleased with that. So the guys just did a great job to give me a car that I could attack today. And uh, it's a shame not to come away with the win, but uh, that's the way it goes. Questions for our second or third place finishing drivers. Uh, go ahead, let's go Chris here. You've had several races where you know you've been competitive, but you know something goes wrong in the pits or something else happens on track. How refreshing is it to where your result today didn't have anything like crazy like that happened in the pits, like at Mid Ohio or at IMS a couple years ago or something like that? Aside from an eight lap yellow that didn't need to be eight laps, um, that may have had an effect on today. Um, but the reality is that's the way that these things go. And I knew, I don't know if Pato was thinking the same, but I wonder that yellow, I, was, I asked the guy, I don't, I don't know why we're not going green. Like, this doesn't make any sense. And I knew when Dixie pitted, I was like, son of a, because you give the guy an inch, he's gonna get a mile. And that's just the way he is. He's the best at saving fuel and going fast and doing the things he does. And I did that exact strategy two years ago, so I know it works, you know? And so, uh, it, uh, it was nice though, in general, just to have a smooth day. Never really felt totally under pressure. Felt that when guys could did close on me that I could respond and pull the gap when I needed to. Um, never had a single break lock today. Just a very kind of straightforward day, which was very refreshing for the year that we've had. Um, to get by him. You understand what I'm saying? Well, right, away, to you. right away, because I could see he wasn't sliding around a lot. He'd use the, the tires a little, but you know, Dixie's not gonna just make a mistake. You know, so I knew it was going to have to be a flawless run. And Frank, that I almost had it. You know, I'm meaning like I needed about one more car length to be closer out of 13 uh, to be able to get by. Um, but I, I pulled off of overtake because uh, it was I wasn't really gaining. I was kind of just you know holding steady. And because of his race pattern being so much more fuel saving, he had a lot more overtake at one stage. So we were catching him at the end. I mean, he was starting to use overtake because I could get that the, you know, at one point he had 60 seconds more, more than me. Uh, and I think at the end we, we ended up equal. So he was using it to stay ahead of me, but uh, you know, it, it's, it's a, that's, that's what I kind of love about our version of overtake, frankly. It's a mono -e mono battle. You use it offensively, defensively. It's none of this DRS crap that just makes, makes it easy. And uh, you know, for me, I thought uh, Dixon used it right today. I tried to do the best I could to, challenge him and I just ran out of steam. I mean, I just didn't, the lap, the la like, leading up to the last lap, I went through the snake, turned seven, eight, nine, ten, and just, I had zero grip. And uh, I lost about half a second, and, or three, four tenths, and that was it. If you were watching. Hi, this is Steven Stumpf. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, check out the two videos beside me, and for more racing content, visit frontstretch.com.